Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Legend of Runeterra. Today, the ranked for Eternals is back, so we are going for Eternal decks. We are starting with a simple deck, simple, not weak, it's just easy to execute. So we have action, two mana cost, quick attack, so he strike before his blocker. When summoned or strike, he will summon Warlord Palace, a one mana cost landmark that is advanced every time action attack or you target an ally when the landmark executed action level up and create warlord hurt when it is executed it will allow you either predict one then draw summon a sandstone charger or grant all allies on the field plus one damage not bad not great but warlord's hurt allow you to Play the Absolver Resurrection, give all enemy vulnerable and create in hand a zero cost copy of the strongest ally that have died this game. Fount of Power, draw two, your card cost one less this round, or grant your champions everywhere, hand, field or deck. Sh spell shield, which will negate the next spell or skill that will target him, and plus two attack and defense. What we are playing around right now is the Absolver's Resurrection. Grant all enemies vulnerable and create in hand a zero cost copy of the strongest ally that died this game. Vulnerable will allow us to pick an enemy and challenge it, force it to block us when we attack. So we can choose which enemy will block which unit. This is very useful with Renekton. For mana cost, overwhelm, so excess damage I deal to my blocker is dealt to the enemy nexus. And when he challenges an enemy, give me plus 2 damage and 1 health for this round. Once he dealt 10 plus damage, Renekton level up. Gain, when he attack, now gain plus 3 attack and defense. Once he restore the sun disk, he ascend. And now 10 damage, 10 health. When he block or attack, deal 2 to the enemy and the enemy nexus. Not just the one that is blocking him. All enemies and if this is not enough we have Bakai Wither Claw when you play him grant an enemy vulnerable every time when you challenge an enemy that enemy gain minus two damage for this round so not only will Renekton not take uh, will deal more damage but he will take less damage and this can stack this is very easy to use for new players and i hope you enjoy it let's see how it goes okay let's get started i am gonna reroll these two keep these two oh nice colors against jarvin and garen okay let's use feral prediction this allow me to predict pick a card put it on top of my deck I will get it next round. I'm actually here. Pass. Okay, I have both my champions. It's dangerous out there. He has no mana, so I can summon action. I've got just the thing for you. Mm -hmm. So I am gonna use exhaust. This will okay. give a unit minus two. So I can kill it with action without fearing his death. He has no mana, so I am relatively safe. And the blacksmith is scary card. So may as well get rid of it. Okay, rock hopper. When summoned, he will summon royal and sand. When an enemy is summoned, destroy me to grant it vulnerable. So this will allow us to force a unit to actually protect against this us. And that will tr trigger challenge for Renekton. Okay, should have predicted that one. <laughs> nice one. Okay, he skipped his turn. So I will play Renekton. Chaos and 
Nice. Okay, tak, 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 tak. I can kill Garen right now. But he may have a spell against it. Better not. I will pass. Oh. Not a good thing, but at least I can get rid of Garen. A champion for... We lose both champions, but... Eh. Could be worse. Okay, I will summon... Merciless Hunter. Grant Vulnerable to... Kitharia. Cloudfield. Mm, I have to defend. So, Armored Inquisitor. This will give me an Explore card. He has no equipment, no landmark. I will take the healing. No actual card that I actually care about, so who cares? Okay, so s I will use Siphon Strike. Okay, I give both my his units vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Now I will use Siphon Strike to get rid of his Ardent Tracker. Siphon Strike will allow an ally to strike an enemy. If it kill it, all my champions will gain plus two attack and defense. Relic of Power, Grand Ally, Predict and Draw One. This is useful. And I get action. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's attack. Since I have Bakai Wither Claw, when I am challenging a unit, it give it minus two for this round. Ah, he is funny. This guy, I like him. Mm -hmm. Not sure what he is thinking, but good for you. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. Good people. Okay, I have action leveled up. He's gonna attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am gonna use Crying Sand. This will allow me to give him minus two and predict. Okay, I will take the damage. Okay, back I will. Wither Claw again. Since I have two, now it will give him minus four damage. Let's give the other guy the same. So I can attack them basically for free. Still the same thing. Let's give Garen with the claw. This will make him. This will allow us to kill him. But I don't want to risk my action. So I will do it this way, this way, and this way. And attack. I clear the board. Uh, like I said, I like this guy. Mm -hmm. Let's heal my Nexus. 
I could have put it on an ally, but not necessary. Or another siphon strike. Okay, let's use it on his blocking budget bear. He has no card in hand, so I am free to do as I like. Basically. Okay, this will kill all his units and I keep mine. Nice, perfect. So, Sentinel Horde, grant everywhere plus two attack and defense, draw two, grant them. So, I am gonna do this, draw two, use Siphon Strike, kill his unit. Nice, hopefully he summons something. So grappling hook, an ally that was targeted this round, will strike an enemy. Justice was fast. No regrets. And that is a win. Hope you like the video. If you do, please share, subscribe, the notification button, and put in the comment what other champion or deck you like to see next. Bye.